Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Brotator. We are jumping in again this time as the pacifist. This guy, I have a feeling, is going to be very, very tricky. Because um, essentially we deal no damage and we just have to keep as many enemies al alive as we can. The more enemies alive at the end of the stage, the more XP and materials we get. So essentially we don't want to kill anything. We do want to be destroying trees because they die in one hit. And we do have our hands for knockback here. And we're probably just going to take more hands. Um, so we want to go with armor. Um, luck seems good. I would like another hand if we can get one. XP gain is good. Landmines are nice. Cheaper stuff is nice. But yeah, it doesn't really matter how many weapons we get early on. I, I took landmines, I just realized they're completely worthless because we have minus 100 engineering. More knockback would be good. We need the ability to spawn more trees as well. There you go. This is interesting. It's a very strange character idea, but I like it. More armor. Take that, take that. Oh, we can't afford either of those. Okay, so looks like we're not going to be getting much of anything. We probably need to um, spec into harvesting, to be honest. This this character might take a few goes to get good at. The good thing is, with this guy, normally when you've got uh, auto-aim on, you actually hit the enemies, but we can purposely miss them. Did miss that tree, unfortunately. Oh god, oh god. Beautiful. Max HP. HP regen. A taser. Yes, please. More luck. Keep this locked in. We probably want to keep as much dodge po possibility as we can. We'll take that as well. Yeah, the, the taser's pretty good because it'll um, stun enemies. Slow them down a little bit. Won't kill them as such, but... Or at least, um, it won't for a while. It can eventually kill them because it is dealing one damage. Okay, lots of shots coming in from the new enemies and stuff. <laughs> this is such a weird way to play. I really love that there's a pacifist character. That's so fantastic. Look at this. My goodness. We're not getting much money, though, is the only problem. Um... HP regen, HP regen, another taser. Grab that finally. <laughs> we got the little hat on as well, it's great. I think tasers are going to be the way forward, just to slow enemies as much as possible. We need the Wonderbot um, item that slows enemies too. Oh god, these charging dudes. Not okay. Oh lord. I think this is it. I think this is it. Yeah. Okay. This guy is going to be very hard. First of all, let me return to my menu and actually read what he does. For every living enemy at the end of a wave. That's that's rough. Let's, let's start with a taser this time. Maybe I do want to actually attempt to kill some stuff. I wonder if elemental damage still works. We'll see. This way, the uh, we should let everything just fizzle out. Get 50 there. I think speed is going to be huge. Another tears is really good here. Lock that in. Yeah. I, I just realized, I think speed might be one of the most important things for us, actually. So let's try and actually, like, shoot some enemies here. We are able to kill some stuff. I just don't know if it's worth it. Doesn't seem it. 
Speed. Take that. A hand, I'll take that. Keep that locked in. We need the more tree spawns. That's what we need. Pacifist is going to be rough. Just keep firing the enemies to slow them down. If we kill a few, we kill a few. What, whatever. Give me all the materials I can get my hands on. Okay. Nice amount of enemies left there. More speed. What speed are we up to now? Nine. Harvesting is good. Take both of these and the hand as well. Honestly, take that too. We don't need luck, really. So what other weapons count as support? Is it just the hand and the taser? I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, once the charger already starts spawning on the next wave, that's when things get a little tricky for us. Okay, yeah, having the tasers is real good. Keep the enemies pretty much at bay. When they group up, at least, that is. Need the electricity to spread a bit more. The later in the waves we get, the more we can focus on shooting at enemies because we can't kill them. Engineering, we recycle that. Harvesting, I think we take here. Another taser. More life regen. Another hand. Hmm. Trying to look for what would work best. Another hand. Okay, just falls everything away from me. How long does it take to kill something with this setup? Okay, this is this is good. We're able to stun and push pretty much everything away from us. Especially the dashing snails. Whenever I say that, I always think that I'm calling them handsome. You know, when someone calls someone dashing. Like, oh my god, he's so dashing. The dashing snails. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Recycle that. More harvesting. Good amount. Ooh. Speed or HP regen? I'm gonna go with HP regen. Okay, roll. Trees die in one hit. We already have trees die in one hit. No point buying that. Another hand. Good. Another taser. Good. Take some more XP. Some more luck. Some more speed. How's that speed looking now? 12%. It's not a lot, but it might be enough. We really need more armor and more dodge. We've got 6% dodge right now, but we'd really like more armor. Especially considering that enemy almost killed me in a single hit there. And regen is only once every 5 seconds right now, so with our low max HP, it's almost worthless. Like, HP regen's good, but... With low max HP, it's actually useless. There's a lot of enemies to have on the board when we finish this wave. This is looking good for us, this. Good payday. Yeah, very good payday. More harvesting. More speed. Double the value of materials plus luck. Another taser. Lock in the lemonade. We're not really getting what we need, I'll be honest. We can die so, so easily. Basically, essentially right now, one misstep and we die. 
Because we just... With, we'll, we'll take too much damage. Like our weaponry isn't good enough to keep everything off of us. Especially for this amount of time as well. We leave the food just in case. I mean, the tasers are good, but they're not going to hold us forever. Ah, oh, I, I ate the food by accident. Bugger. I felt noises that are all making. Okay, we need that food now. Oh my god. We need to roll for something better here. 9% max HP, that's good. More max HP there, more recovery there. More knockback is incredible. Another hand, another taser, more knockback. That we lock in for next time. Okay, this is good. We just got we just got quite a lot of upgrades there. We made our max HP look a lot better too. I don't really know upgrading our thing does much. I'm hoping it stuns them for longer or pushes them back further. We just got a bunch of extra knockback as well, so that should help a lot. Yeah, that's that's really good knockback there. My god, that's really good knockback. Trees die in one hit again, so we gotta make sure to grab them when we can. <laughs> this is such a fun way to play. What a great character. What a great character. We're managing alright as well, at least for right now. Definitely a little bit tricky, but I think we got it. We should get a lot of uh, money for this. The amount of money we get is going up and up each wave. I think we go for armor this time round. And I think we reroll here for harvesting's good. We definitely take that. Another hand. That's not going to be one that we can use though. We'll lock that in. Lock that in. Okay. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Okay, these are a lot of very fast enemies here. I don't know how I managed to get through there, but I did. Oh my god, look at them. It kind of gives you a better breakdown of what appears in each wave, because I'm seeing them all at once. I can't kill them. Kind of funny how you don't really notice that before. got another 30, 30 seconds to go. We're just pushing these guys around. Oh god. Give me a tree. I need a tree. Why is that a tree spawning? What the hell? That's a lot of money there. HP regen, yes please. 12% dodge, yes please. Taser again, yes please. HP regen, good, good. Flamethrower. I'll take 8 dodge for 1 armor. Our dodge is at 26%. It's not great, but it's good. Max HP. Pick up radius. I don't think pick up radius actually matters, to be honest. Locking the XP gain. I suppose it matters for HP and stuff. For the little uh, fruits. Sometimes we'll need them desperately and they're behind a bunch of enemies, so in that regard it matters. We're up to a good amount of max HP now. And with our HP regen at, what percent is it? 17. That should be pretty good for max HP. It's only every 5 seconds though that it triggers, I think. Yeah, five seconds is a long time in this game. But we can get through it. I think. Oh, God. Oh, 
Holy. Nah, 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 nah. I don't think we can do this. We need more trees. Maybe we need more luck to get more fruits and stuff. Attack speed could be kind of interesting, but I think we've got to roll for... There you go. There's armor there. We'll take armor. Lifesteal. Let's go. Uh, um, a medical gun could work. Let's recycle that and take the medical gun. I don't know how the life steal exactly works, but I'm I'm gonna try this out. In fact, I know I just bought this, but here's a higher level one. More pickup radius. More range. Medical gun might not do anything for us here, but I'm trying it out. It might just be the thing that we need. I feel like we've reached our, reached our peak with this character right now, though. I don't really know how to play this guy well enough to manage the amount of damage we're going to take on this wave. I tr I'm trying to destroy that tree, but I'm just not having a good job of it. Also, these enemies get faster and faster. Which scares me a lot. Not really able to run through things as I normally would here. These dudes are so fast. Yeah, I definitely should be taking some attack speed, I think, to make sure my hands are pushing things away more often. I'm seeing some enemies that are just disappearing when they spawn. I'm not sure what that's about. Holy, I got down to low HP then. Life steal. I think lifesteal might actually be a lot better than I'm expecting it is. Um. God damn. Red level laser gun right there. I don't want to lose any dodge, to be honest. More tree spawn. Yes, please. My speed is at 18%. I can take that. All oh, right. Got to go, go a whole minute now. We got the fast enemies this time around as well. Need like a lower hitbox. Items that make our hitbox smaller. Now those dudes are definitely doing little heals. This wave doesn't seem too bad so far. We're about halfway through it. We're doing fine. Not too much spawning on the edges to stop us. Trees are spawning with decent regularity. Oh, God. Bob and weave, bob and weave. Yeah, I definitely should go for lifesteal more than anything else. Proving to be very useful. We got there. We got there. Yeah, we'll take that. 9% dodge, please. More hand. More regen. Armor and dodge for max HP, yes. We'll lock that in. We'll lock that in. Go. Okay, wave 13 shouldn't be too hard. There's not too many fast enemies here. These guys are pretty slow. But they do do a good amount of damage, though. Okay. Stay the hell away from me. We'll be fine. Oh, you got them proper grouped up here. Probably shouldn't have gone for minus amount of enemies, because that's going to reduce our payout at the end of the round. But it does make us slightly safer, so... Probably worth it. Yeah, as, is, as expected, this wave isn't too bad. Unless we get dashed like three or four times in a row, I think we're going to be okay here. The 
tree there as well. Nice, an extra 400 there. Attack speed, mm, yeah, we'll go for attack speed. We'll go for that, we'll go for that. Oh, levels it up to max. Taser. Suppose I could combine those two and grab another Taser. Nothing there. I think we lock that in. I can take that. 23% every five seconds is great. We'll lock that in there. And we'll carry on. This is the way that I'm worried about. Because it's got these little shooter dudes. And I think they're going to be a pain. But I don't know. They only spawn when these guys die. So maybe we'll be okay. Yeah, because look, it's, it's not really spawning many of the shooter dudes or any of them, really. Because these guys aren't dying. The big dudes that ploop them out. So maybe Pacifist actually works better against those enemies. I mean, there's still some of them spawning, as you can see. But it's not a lot. And this wave has actually been way more manageable because of that. What dodge are we on right now? 41. Okay, that's really good. It's going to mean a lot when it comes to the bullets that are diving around that we can't really manage. My goodness, this is getting hectic. Okay. Harvesting, max HP, definitely. Go for that and that. Harvesting's looking real good. Uh, grab that. Lock that in. Okay, wave 15. I don't know which wave is going to be the really hard one for us, to be honest. I'm sure there's going to be one, though. Ooh. Ooh. I kind of forgot about these fellas. These little turret dudes. I can't kill them. That's problematic, because they're going to post up pretty much everywhere throughout the stage. And I'm going to be running into their shots a lot. My dodge better proc. Otherwise, we're going to have issues. Oh, God, I took a lot of damage there. But this character has been a lot of fun so far. It's a very, very different way to play, obviously. A very interesting way to play, indeed. Okay, nice. Um, ooh, this is a very, very difficult choice. Um, I think we go for max HP here. And this one we go for maybe speed or max HP again, actually. There you go. Um, like that, we got a max level hand. Oh, no, 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 sorry. That, that went into a purple hand, didn't it? Not really getting anything great here. Spending a lot on re-rolling right now. Okay, that was a bit of a bust of a wave. We spent a ton of money on nothing. Should have just stopped free rolling really. Okay, now we're onto the big boy enemies. These guys have extra speed and extra damage. Again, it is an introduction wave, so it shouldn't be too hard, but if they hit me, they'll do a lot of damage. Good thing is we got a ton of health now. And we have 27% HP regen, which is only every five seconds, but still really good. I'm surprised there isn't any items that make your HP regen happen more often. I would have expected that to be a thing. It's another box we got there, I think. It is. It's kind of good, those little dudes diving around, healing everything for me, keeping them alive. Works out in my favour, really. Yeah, do Dodge is coming in clutch right now. Still wish I had a bit more armour. Yeah, the 
pacifist build is going decently, though. Dodge. Yes, please. Speed or lifesteal? I'm going to go with speed. More dodge for less armor. It's only one less armor, so I'll take it as long as I can make up for it somewhere else. Attack speed. Yes, please. 100% chance to instantly attract materials when they're dropped. That sounds awesome. Useless for us right now, but it sounds awesome. Okay, I didn't get much there. Okay, we're back to these big boys again. I do not like these guys, especially the red ones. The red ones are going to be the ones that kill me. Oh, no, no, no. This is bad. I'm knocking them back in the wrong direction. They're so fast. I'm glad I took the movement speed. Very glad, because they are really fast. I'm only just keeping them back. And the thing is, these guys get faster the more you hit them, I think. So, because they never really die, they're just going to keep bloody catching up to me. Sixteen seconds of this. And because they're bigger enemies as well, it means there's less enemies on screen, so we can get less money at the end of the wave. Holy shit. <laughs> this is wild. That was wild. Yeah, we got loads less money this time. And um, more trees, definitely. And definitely. <sighs> Don't think there's anything here we want. We can take speed though, I'll lock that in. I don't know, I think wave 18 is going to be the one that takes us out. <sighs> Just because of these dudes. Little snail guys. There's so many of them. And they're so hard to dodge when we can't kill them. Luckily there isn't any of the other big dudes that we just saw in the last wave. But as you can clearly tell. I'm taking a beating from these guys. A hefty one. The red versions of them do a ton of damage. So I've got 28 seconds left. I don't know if I need to be making like tighter circles with these guys. I think that's actually the case. I think I just need to be taking much tighter circles around the map. Around like the center and keep them all like in a ball, so to say. That seems to be working out a lot better. Honestly, this is working out so much better. What the hell? My god, that was so much better. Recycle. Attack speed. Can we afford losing some speed for HP regen? HP regen's pretty limited now, to be honest. I think we don't need any more of that. Take that. I didn't, I didn't buy the bloody beanie today. God damn it. Mammoth. Melee damage, HP regen, minus damage, minus speed. Okay, that doesn't matter, sadly. Buy that. Stop giving me fucking weapons. What's with all the guns? More trees spawn. Okay. Wave 19. I don't know how exactly we beat the last wave, considering there's a boss we have to kill. But maybe I just survive until the time limit and it works, I guess. This wave doesn't seem too bad right now. With the dodge we've got and the enemy types that are spawning here, I think we're okay. Only 25 seconds remaining. Good. Still got some red guys coming in here. Nine seconds left. The dashy boys are back again. I'd like to get some armor for the next wave if we can. 
Okay. Attack speed is great here. Engineering. Max HP. Armor. I think armor's most important here. We're rolling for as much armor as we can get here. What? I've got six out of six weapons. Fuck off giving me all the weapons. Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> well, it's not actually. It takes off that a lot of stuff, but normally that'd be really good. Also, that's pretty decent. Okay, looks like this is what we've got for, for the boss wave. This is a different boss than last time, I'm pretty sure. We've just got to survive 90 seconds here. Can we do it? Okay, this is weird. What the hell's that? Okay, so this guy has a big sweeping arm of bullets around him. That's really cool. I did not know there was unique bosses for the last wave. So that's really interesting. But I think... I think we're going to be somewhat okay here. I'm not guaranteeing that because... I mean, for one, who knows if this is his only attack. I'm going to guess it isn't. But also, we're keeping a pretty tight spiral around everything else. Normally the last wave, only the boss is like the big threat. Everything else is just there to be annoying. Okay, he is getting some new attacks. We're going to have to do a, a light bit of dodging here. Not a ton, just a light bit. That did 15 damage. Wow. 30 seconds remaining. Oh my god, the arm is getting so much faster. Oh shit, the boss moved. Fuck. I'm so confused about what's going on with the boss right now. I'm so confused. I completely lost the boss for a hot second there. Eight seconds remaining. I think we've done it. I think we just won as the pacifist. Holy, we just won as the pacifist. That's kind of insane. New enemies appear. Um, inflation is higher. I mean, things cost more, I'm guessing. But holy, and we unlocked Panda. Plus 12 max HP, plus 25 luck, minus 12 damage. Nice. Holy, we also unlocked um, Bull. You cannot equip weapons. Wow. Anyways, that was all the fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I'll see you guys in the next one.